In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install this brand new LLM which is called as Orca Platypus. I will drop the link to whatever links I'm using in this video and I, I will also post all the commands in my blog and drop the link in video description. So don't worry about copy pasting all the commands. If you go to their website, this Orca Platypus is a really groundbreaking LLM. It is a mix of two LLMs as mentioned on their GitHub repo, this Garage Platypus 2 and also Open Orcas Open Orca Open Chat. And there is a lot more information about it. There is also a paper and you can read the abstract about it here. And then they also have put in a Reddit post about this and also have provided some benchmark information. It is available publicly so you can go and read about it. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this one locally. I'll be using the quantized format from um, the blog, which has done a wonderful job about this quantizing this 13 billion LLM. So let's get right into it. For this video, I'm going to use AWS SageMaker's notebook instance. And in that SageMaker notebook instance, the instance type will be G4DN XLR, which has one NVIDIA GPU. So this is the one which I'll be using ML G4 DN XLR and in order to open it just click on open Jupyter lab and it will open the notebook instance in a new tab if you want to install it on your local Linux instance you can do the same I'll be using Amazon Linux 2 you can even use it on Ubuntu by using the same instructions or you can use it on uh, Amazon Linux 2023 so let's wait for this Jupyter notebook to load this is my Jupyter Notebook. From here, select the Notebook Conda PyTorch P310 one because it has a lot of things already in. Also, let's change it to the darker theme so it would be easier to read. Okay, so here we are. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to install the Transformer module. So the command is pip install transformers with exclam exclamation sign at the beginning. So let's wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long. That is done. Second step we need to do is to build this auto GPT Q library and first I'm cloning it and then I am building it. Okay, it has given me an error because I hadn't put um, the command in front of it. That is fine. Let me quickly go here and clone it like this so let's first clone it cloning is done now let's cd into this directory that's done and then let's install the whatever is in that directory and on my previous on the basis of my previous tries this takes around five minutes so let's wait for it to finish Auto GPQ, uh, GPTQ is done. So now let's move on to the next step where we are specifying the model and downloading it. And as I said, it is a quantized model from the blog. So it is around 8 GP, of 8 GP, so it will take a bit of a time to download. So let's wait for it to finish. As you can see that it is downloading that model from that Hugging Face website. And it the ETA is around over three minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. Model download is done. Now in the next step, let's give it a prompt and see how it works. So if you see my screen, there is this is the prompt I'm going to use. Tell me about Stoics. And then this is the format you need to have for this LLM, where we have this instruction and then prompt. And then we are just giving feeding it into the pipeline and then it will be printing the output at the end so let me run it let's wait for it to finish and this direct tells you that it is still running it has returned me the result so let's go down and you can see that how cool is that and how accurate the answer is it has given me everything about stoics and then and there are further it has given me some more information. It is just spewing out information about information. 
and then also it prints out the summary at the end. Let me ask it one more question here. Let me go up. Maybe I'll just ask it a general knowledge question. What is the capital of Tonga, which is an island in the Pacific? Let's see what it does this time. Let me run it. And look at this uh, Noka Lufa. And I can tell you, I have asked this question to so many LLMs. If you have watched my previous videos, and hardly anyone comes up with the correct answer. And if they do, they take a lot of time. But you have seen it that even the quantized version has returned the result in a GFE. So, really, really imp impressed by this. Um, LLM and I believe that this is really going to uh, break some record and it will jump up in the ladder board very very soon and so Orca Platypus really huge kudos to the building team. I hope that you like this again whatever length I have used I will put it in video description and the command which I have used here in this notebook I will put it in my blog and I will drop the link to my blog in video description. You can also find these uh, commands on the blog's website. Okay, so if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and enjoy your day. Thank you.